All right. We're going to read a story, and this is for Mrs. Krieger's kindergarten class in St. Joseph, Michigan, and E.P. Clark. And I'm here, and this is my cat, Nomi. I don't know if she's too shy to be on camera, but is that I know me? <laughs> We're going to read a story together because <laughs> she wants a lot of attention right now. So this story is called Caps for Sale. And this is a book that I actually read, or I actually got read to me when I was in kindergarten. I was actually in a play called Caps for Sale in Kindergarten. So it reminds me of when I was little. Got it at the local bookstore. Caps for Sale, a tale of a peddler, some monkeys, and their monkey business. Once there was a peddler who sold caps. He carried them on top of his head. First, he had his own checked cap, then a bunch of gray caps, brown caps, blue caps, and red cap on the very top. Caps, caps, caps for sale, he said. 50 cents a cap, he called. He's all his hats on his head. That's crazy. One morning, he couldn't sell any caps, and slowly he walked up and down the street calling, caps, caps for sale, 50 cents. But nobody wanted to buy any caps. Hmm. I think I'll go for a walk in the country, he said. Here he is taking a walk out in the country. Nomi, do you want to take a walk out in the country? He walked for a long time until he came to a great big tree. That's a nice place for a rest, he thought. So he went to sleep. There he is going to sleep, right by that big old tree. But when he woke up, all the caps were gone, except for his checkered cap. What? What's going on here? Let's find out. He looked to the right. He looked to the left. He looked behind the tree. No caps. And then he looked up. And what do you think he saw? What do you think he saw, kids? Any guesses? I'll tell you what he saw. On every branch sat a monkey. On every monkey, there was a gray or a brown or a blue or a red cap. Are you kidding me? You monkeys, you monkeys, he said, shaking a fist at them. You give me back my caps. But the monkeys only shook their fingers back at him and said, <laughs> of meddling monkeys. This made the peddler very angry and he looked up at them and said, you monkeys, you monkeys, you give me back my caps. But the monkeys shook their hands back at him and said, <laughs> those crazy monkeys. <laughs> By this time, the peddler was really, really angry and he stomped his feet and said, you monkeys, you monkeys, you give me back my caps. But the monkeys only stamped their feet back at him and said, tss, 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 tss. seriously, they stole all of his caps. Like, what's he gonna sell for 50 cents? At last, he became so angry that he pulled off his own cap, threw it to the ground, and began to walk away. But then, sorry, we got an appearance by Naomi here. Hey, Naomi. So, okay, so he pulled his cap off. He was so angry, he threw it to the ground. But then each monkey pulled off its cap. And all the gray caps, and all the brown caps, and all the blue caps, and all the red caps came flying down out of the tree. <laughs> 
So the peddler picked up his caps and put them back on his head. First his own checked cap, then the gray caps, then the brown caps, then the blue caps, and the red cap on the very top. And slowly he walked back to town calling, caps, caps for sale, caps, 50 cents a cap. The end. Thank you for doing story time together and reading Caps for Sale. I hope you enjoyed it. I'm Harper's godfather, so shout out to Harper and any of the other kids in the class and Mrs. Krieger. Um, I hope you enjoyed this and have a good time. I'll talk to you guys soon.